All right, everybody, this is Zach from the Urban Hydroponic Growers Union. I uh, wanted to show you the strawberry grow is continuing to boost away. Uh, very, very easy to grow, very enjoyable. Uh, one thing I found is that you get a lot more fruit. This is one day's harvest. I just came in and picked all these. When you don't try to brush pollinate, uh, I haven't brush pollinated in a long, long time. I've been using my hair dryer to just blow on the plants like crazy once a day and uh, the fruit shapes and size seems to be better. I want to show you all one point of interest over here. Uh, this plant right here had a runner so I went ahead and stuck it in some sure to grow uh, loose fill and we're about to find out if there's any roots yet. No, I don't, I don't see anything down there. Not yet at least. Um, but what is interesting is this has grown since I put it in there, and the runner has continued. Um, I don't know what that means, but hopefully that means that the that the runner is rooting. I hope. In my other tent, I got uh, some seedlings going. I got some basil over here, peppers, tomatoes, parsley, oregano, uh, cilantro. Hopefully germinating soon. Uh, I have had them covered with the black tray for a couple days and some of them have started to sprout and I actually legged out a couple tomato plants. You can see them over there all legged out so I had to go ahead and put it on the top, clear top. But one thing that I have found from my little test over here is that the seeds really don't seem to care if they're in the light or in the dark when you germinate them uh, as long as you keep them humid. Here's my lettuce plants, my romaine plants going on. I'm pretty happy with the way they're looking. Uh, growing pretty good and compact. I've been uh, putting frozen water bottles in the res every day to try to keep the reservoir temperature down. I've heard that that can help the compactness. Uh, I am getting a little algae around the edges, so probably, you know, if you use neoprene inserts, you'd, you'd do a little bit better. Uh, I got a you have the germination there out of uh, the rock wool and this one hasn't germinated yet who knows what's going on down there but uh, so basically it took in the system with rock wool uh, it took like 10 10 seeds to get five and so far with the sure to grow I got that one germinated this one did not germinate and it kind of rotted so I had to replace it with a new seed um, this one hasn't germinated yet. This one has, but I don't know if it's going to make it. It's looking kind of gross. And then this one hasn't. No, this one germinated and died out too, so I'm going to have to replace those. So Germination isn't the best, but I'm going to keep trucking and trying new things and see what happens. Uh, also got a little uh, tomato plant clone that I'm using the system as a cloner because it's got such a low nutrient concentration. I want to check, I haven't looked at this yet. I want to check out the roots on the lettuce, not bad. I want to uh, point out that this system, so far uh, the lights are on 24 hours a day and the system is on 24 hours a day. So kind of a unique test. Uh, we'll see what the quality of the lettuce is like that. The last time I tried it with good lettuce, they kind of got stressed out from too much light, but we'll see.